Hi, I'm Johnny, and on behalf of the entire Star RV team, we're thrilled you've chosen us for your next adventure. To get the most out of your experience, I'm here to show you all the features the RV has to offer. A how-to guide is provided with all the relevant information for your camper. So be sure to refer back to that if ever you're in doubt. First things first, keys. You have a set of keys for your camper provided to you on pickup. A vehicle remote, a compartment key, a freshwater key, and two entry lock keys. The smaller one is for the door lock and the larger one is for the deadbolt. We recommend you just use a deadbolt to lock the door. Remember, don't separate the keys or leave them in the ignition. Let's take a quick look on the outside of your RV. On the driver's side of the vehicle, your toilet cassette is stored here. This is where the grey water outlet is and this is where you empty the grey water. Exhaust for the hot water system. Make sure you don't park too close to anything or lean anything up against it when you're heating the water because it can get hot. A large tunnel boot storage unit, an external shower unit. Make sure you turn on the water pump before use. This is a fresh water inlet. This is where you fill up the fresh water. You'll need a key for this. Two LPG gas bottles are stored in here. 240 volt mains power connector for use when at a campground. These are the vents for the fridge. Be careful not to cover them as they can get hot. A pull-out table is stored here. This is the main door for the cabin and below is a pull-out step. You open the passenger side door to access the fuel tank to fill up. Right, let's break down some features you need to know for your trip. Connecting your RV to the campground power. First you'll need your extension lead stored here then plug into the 240 volt power connector and insert lead into the campground power. All campgrounds will use these, just make sure the power is turned on. Once you're ready to leave the campground, be sure to check all appliances are turned off prior to disconnecting. Unplug the lead and store back in your camper before you leave. The grey water is water collected from shower and sink. Check the level of the grey water regularly by pushing the test button. Once full or every two days, you'll need to empty the tank. Empty the tank at a registered dump station displaying this symbol. Use the grey water hose for the compartment and connect to the grey water outlet on RV. Close the two locking pins for a firm connection. When the other end is in the dump point, open the valve. Once empty, close the valve, release the grey water hose and replace the cap. The freshwater tank supplies water for the toilet, shower and sink. We don't recommend you drink the water. Check the level of the freshwater tank at the control panel. When you're getting empty or every two days, simply fill at the water inlet. You'll need your hose and freshwater key to unlock. When you insert the hose, just make sure it's in all the way. Connect the hose to the tap. Once full, disconnect the hose, remembering to take the adapter with you and restore in the camper. Your RV comes with two gas bottles. These supply LPG to the stove, oven, hot water system, and some RVs, the fridge. The vehicle must be on level ground to work. When you need the LPG, turn on the valve all the way. Once you've finished cooking or heating water, make sure you turn the gas back off at the bottle. The TV operates on 12 volt and 240 volt when connected. Switch on the control panel and use the remote to turn the TV on. Most of your fridges use the 12 volt system and your 240 volt mains power when connected. Once you stop driving, you'll need to either plug it into a power or turn the LPG gas on. Simply switch on the control panel and set the desired temperature. We recommend you use the setting number four. The lights will run off the 12 volt system, but remember to turn them off when not in use or they will drain the battery. Simply turn on and off at the main control panel and each individual light. Your RV is equipped with a gas oven and a stove. You must have the range hood and light switch on in order to light the stove. To use the gas burners, push and rotate the dial and hold and push the ignite switch until the gas lights. Continue to hold the dial to ensure the gas stays lit. It's recommended when using the gas inside to open a window to allow for decent ventilation. Once you've finished cooking, wait until the burners have cooled before lowering the lid. Your RV has a hot water system that is powered by the LPG 
or the mains power. This provides hot water to the shower and sink tap. The two switches at the control panel are for the LPG or the electricity. Using gas to heat the water, make sure you turn on the LPG bottle and turn on the 12 volt water heater switch and select the gas switch at the water heater panel. Wait at least 30 minutes for the water to heat. If you see a red light at the water heater switch, there is a fault and the gas has failed to light the system. Wait one minute and start the process again. If it continues to fail, you can perform a hard reset. Switch off the system, turn off the gas at the bottle and go to the hot water system underneath the seat. Most will have a red button you can push which resets the system. Hold the button for a few seconds and the red light will go out. If you're connected to the mains power at the campground, you can use electricity to heat the water. Simply turn on the control panel by selecting low heat or high heat. Your RV has an internal heater that is heated by the LPG and ignited by the 12 volt system. To use the heater, turn on the LPG, switch on the heater switch and control panel and then select the flame icon to start heating. Adjust the desired temperature with the second dial. The green light will come on when heating. This is your microwave. This will only operate on mains power. The toilet uses the fresh water from the fresh water tank and the 12 volt system to flush. Turn on the water pump and toilet switches before using the toilet. Open the toilet lever and press the button to flush. Once finished, close the lever. The waste is collected in the cassette access from the outside of the camper. Note that the toilet lever needs to be shut before the cassette can be removed. Lift the lever to release the cassette and pull out. When you are emptying your cassette, please use a registered dump station to find this sign. Unscrew the cap and empty the cassette. When it's empty, just use a hose to give it a rinse and empty again before returning to the camper. Once returned, add one toilet chemical to the toilet and flush to charge. Once you finish your holiday, return your RV and leave the toilet cassette clean and completely empty. The metal dinette converts into a bed. Simply lower the tabletop between the seats and arrange the cushions on top. Slide out the bed extension and the long cushion you'll find in the overcab bed. The spacious overcab bed accommodates two adults. For safe, easy access, use the ladder provided. Make sure the ladder is securely attached before climbing. Under the mattress, you'll find a cargo net that you can clip to the roof to safely secure luggage when traveling. The rear table will need to be removed to convert the lounge into a bed. Remove the tabletop by loosening the lever. Slide the table out. The arms and legs can be stored under the tabletop by sliding into the grooves and locking off. To turn the rear lounge into a bed, undo the table and place in between the seats. Remove the side cushions and use the straight pieces to fill the gap. Ah, relax. That's it for now. Don't forget to refer back to the how-to guide for all the information we covered or speak to one of our friendly Star RV team.